but I don't want to move this wall it can be anything right so my the ground and the wall or mainly the obstacles so yeah I'm gonna duplicate this guy and make it kind of like an obstacle over here uh, and you can of course make a really cool map out of it but I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna click all of these guys so obstacles ground this guy and this guy and that guy go ahead and make the enemy AI so first thing what you we will be needing to do is I will go ahead and remove uh, I will just you know do that and then go ahead and say add component and say enemy uh, no AI brain I guess brain yeah AI brain and as you can see immediately after that you will be able to see the nav mesh agent on top of the enemy automatically and there's a AI off mesh script automatically on that and then there is an AI brain so first thing what I think I should do is I should go ahead and set up the nav mesh uh, agent collider and all that so it's automatically set perfectly but you can uh, if you want you can also change the height like that and you can also change the radius somewhat like that So once with you, uh, you are happy with the nav mesh agent. I'm gonna close that right now, and then uh, you have to ignore the uh, AI off mesh, and then we have to come to the AI brain. Now there you can see there's a waypoint manager, there's a my path builder, and then there are AI points, and then the destination point, and then the agent. So in the agent, you have to just drag and drop the nav mesh agent just like that, or you can just go ahead and drag and drop the whole enemy in there, but and it's automatically take the nav mesh agent and then what you have to do is you have to make the enemy waypoint manager so in order to do that I'm gonna go ahead and say right click create an empty game object inside of the enemy and then drag and drop the game object out and I'm gonna call this game object waypoint uh, manager today I can't see my keyboard because it's not dark <laughs> and go ahead and say add component and say waypoint manager and as you can see there is a waypoint manager script uh, which is over here somewhere waypoint manager script yeah it will be somewhere over here I think and in here what you have to do is you have to say uh, build path points alright so as you can see right now there are uh, the path, path, uh, path points are zero but as you can see if I click this guy uh, in the waypoints manager there are these points coming uh, along if I just click this guy as you can see we can make loads and loads of these guys but I'm gonna clear them all and I'm gonna go ahead and make four of them so one two three four now if I come on the top and select one of the waypoint as you can see they show the uh, the gizmo of this guy uh, FP, uh, FS waypoint system and if I drag it out you can see that there is a line signifying that where is uh, the waypoint all and all that so that is pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and bring them over here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select one of them so I want the enemy to start over here alright I wanna this, so this is the start point and this is the end point alright so I wanna start the enemy from the, over here and then he should come over here and then he should go ahead and come over here or I can just come over here and you don't have to actually do much of stuff like you don't have to worry about if oh what what if he collides with this guy or you have to just look come over here and he will not collide with us you can just put it inside over here and he will automatically readjust his path according to the obstacle and nav mesh and all that so I'm gonna just go ahead and take this guy put it inside over here just for the trusting purposes and put this also in this guy so he has to actually reach over here but he has automatically repath his you know thing and I'm gonna put this guy in there so each and every waypoint is inside of an obstacle and he will automatically readjust his uh, you know uh, readjust his uh, path and as you can see in the path points there are four points and one two three four and one two three four and all that now what you have to do is you have to go to the back to the enemy and go ahead and drag and drop your waypoint manager inside of the waypoint manager slot and there you go and I think that is that uh, make sure the nav mesh is already baked and then go ahead and say play so as you can see the enemy is moving over there and he goes over there 
and as you can see he's avoiding the obstacles and he and he was not able to move right inside so he just you know dismissed it and just came over to that point and he's gonna loop again and again and again so as you can see he does not goes inside of this guy or do that he is automatically repassing it and doing that stuff so that is pretty pretty cool right now what we need to do is we need to add some kind of an animation inside of the enemy uh, in order to do that of course you will be needing a fully rigged character if you don't know how to rig and animate your character make sure you see my video the link will be in the description box below and it's really really easy really really easy and all that uh, so I already have a walking animation I guess um, I, I will search for walk and there we go there's a walking animation I'm gonna go to the animation and see if it's okay I think it's okay like enemy patrolling and all that yeah and make sure it is humanoid and then animation is set to loop and all the green points should be ticked like that and it, it's red so I not ticked it so go ahead and say that and go ahead and say right click create a animator controller where is it animator controller I'm gonna call it enemy patrolling and then go ahead and say walk and just go ahead and select the enemy patrolling first and then go ahead and search for walk again <laughs> and then drag and drop the walking animation in there okay now if I go ahead and go to the enemy and select the walking uh, enemy patrolling point and just go ahead and drag and drop the enemy patrolling point in there and say enable that and if I play the game right now you will see that he will move exponentially with exponential speed as you can see he's moving really really fast and all that and it's really really looking awkward if I come over here you can see he's like sliding on top of everything so why has his speed increased so much well because if I come over here and uh, disable the nav mesh agent and play the game again you will see that he will start walking even though he does not have any nav mesh agent as you can see he is walking and if I disable the uh, animator now he will stop so he is walking because of his animation and if I in disable enable the nav mesh he is walking because of the nav mesh and if I enable the na animator controller he is also walking with the speed of the animation so animation plus nav mesh makes a little weird right yeah it's confusing but it's weird so I'm gonna go to the walk and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this guy because he he ha also has the same walking animation so if I change this animation he will also get affected so I'm gonna duplicate the walk and go to animation and then I'm gonna go ahead and say loop pose and also just select the bake into pose so the, in that case he will not be able to move around he will just move in the same spot just like that okay remove that and put that in there just like that just to make sure alright and if I play the game right now he will you know uh, go with speed but uh, however he will not be able to you know so as you can see he's move, move, uh, walking in the same position and if I go to the enemy and enable the nav mesh agent he is not walking with that much speed alright however there is a still st uh, there is still speed but uh, he's not walking with that much speed now how to uh, you know it looks really weird he's sliding all over the ground ground sorry ground so how to do that is we have to tweak the values over here so it's really simple it's not a big deal what you have to do is you have to go in here and or I think I should go to the top view and you have to just decrease the speed I think it should be one and one looks pretty cool like he's walking and all that and look at that it looks okay to me looks pretty realistic me and doing that and say angular speed to something like greater like with extra zeros over here as you can see now he rotates quickly if I come over here now as you can see he rotates quite quickly and all that so that is pretty cool um, so yeah that is it guys I hope you guys enjoy it and this is how to make enemy patrolling points with animation um, and you can of course change the uh, route of this guy so uh, uh, if you want to come out of the game mode make sure you copy the nav mesh agent so copy the values come out and then paste the values because if I don't do that as you can see the values are back to normal 
so then go ahead and pay, say paste component values and as you can see now it's back to the values that we just changed in the game mode and now what you can do is you can go ahead and change the uh, you know change the um, mesh path and you can add different game objects somewhat like this duplicate drag it over here he will automatically readjust his path accordingly so as you can see if I play the game right now he goes over there now he has to come over here and as you can see there is no way to come over here so he will go from here as you can see he's going over there and then he will come back from here and then go over there and automatically readjust his path so as you can see he is not working on this area he is only working on the uh, area that is uh, blue so he's not working on this area he's only working on the area that is blue so as you can see that is nice pretty cool so he automatically adjusts his path so as you can see he cannot come over to in this path so he just ignores that over there he only comes where he can and then he moves on nice guy <laughs> nice guy indeed So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, then subscribe to my channel, which is how to do. If you want to support me, you can also support me through PayPal. The link will be in the description box below. And a good news. Let me just quickly show you good news. Come over here. Go to my watch hours. I finally am gonna monetize my video. As you can see, that in order to monetize my, my video, I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, uh, watch time in hours. So I already have 1,000 subscribers. It's all. I'm almost 2000 and thanks to you guys I already uh, almost have 2000 subscribers but I need 4000 watch time in hours uh, and I have 3971 watch uh, time and it's only 30 hours left uh, you know 30 hours left for you guys to see my video for 30 hours and that will help me monetize my video so yeah, it is, this is a big achievement for me to monetize my YouTube videos and get some, some revenue from it. I think I will be able to generate a little revenue from that. So yeah, hel uh, helps me a little. And yeah, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully it will be monetized. Hopefully. <laughs>